In 1910, he went to Italy and he decided to invite Alice Beeland, who would become Mrs. DuPont. And it was in Italy that he visited seven villas, including the Villa d'Este in Tivoli, outside Rome. The Villa d'Este is probably the most famous fountain garden in the world. It was created in the 16th century by a cardinal who practically dug up the town in order to bring the water through underground reservoirs and aqueducts through the town to his garden. And it was there that he said it would be nice to have something like this at home. And then three years later, he was back in Italy for a much larger trip. They visited 22 different villas, including the Villa Gambaraia, which would provide inspiration for the Italian water garden here, and the Villa Gori, which provided the inspiration for an outdoor theater at Longwood. And then finally, in 1925, he visited France with the Garden Club of America. This was after World War I. They had access to many private chateaus and gardens that had not been opened publicly before. These were the huge French gardens like Versailles and Volovicomte and Corrance. Pierre Dupont came to visit gardens in Europe because he was studying all the big gardens before creating the fabulous Longwood Garden. He got to see there how they used water, how they would build reservoirs on hills that provided gravity-fed fountain displays. He visited, he probably talked quite a long time with my great-grandfather about the technical problems, but he certainly, the most important thing, he looked at the garden and sort of imagine what would inspire him for the Longwood Garden. The garden created by Le Nôtre was a composition of green grass, alleys, and water. Here, there's a sort of harmony between the quantity of grass and water. The magic of water adds to the pleasure of a garden. They did it for the pleasure of the eye, for the movement, and the contrast between still waters and cascades and waterworks, which filled up all the pools with movement. The waterworks is a pleasure added to the visit. It's a surprise. Oh, my God, look, the water, and here again and there. Pierre was a very simple person and he was very shy. But in his gardens, he was very theatrical. And that's exactly what he liked about Italian and French gardens. They're very theatrical. The spectator almost becomes an actor in a setting. And nowhere in any American garden is that more true than at Longwood. <laughs> 